Okay folks, looks like we're trying to take this old beast and we're gonna try and uh, just uh, bring it back to life. It's an older computer. Still pretty good. Uh, you can buy motherboard. It's got a 6800 uh, GTS for the graphics card. Nothing special, but it'll have to do. I think it's got like four gigs of RAM and you know, basic 550 watt power supply and that kind of stuff. But it's got one of these old um, ID hard drives. So, or actually it's a SATA too, I guess, but still we're gonna go faster. So faster and newer and better. So what I get here, I got a GeForce GT 610, pretty much a budget video card, but it does have uh, two gigs of memory and this uh, computer is gonna be used for a lot of photo editing and stuff. So it does need the two gigs to work in Photoshop CC, or it needs one gig, but I went to do, what the hell, it was cheap. And uh, then I got a little, this will definitely make a difference. Uh, the ADA um, 256 gigabyte solid state drive. So that's gonna be smoking fast compared to that. And now we can just use this old SATA 2 as backup. And it looks like it comes with a few, you know, mounting options and some screws. And I think, I don't know if that's for three and a half inch bay, whatever. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I got this all from Netlink. I actually ordered this yesterday about noon and it was here today by noon. So thumbs up you guys, you guys ship freaking fast. First things first, I'm gonna clean out this uh, computer, take out this video card, and then I'll probably go on to um, installing, or I'll, I'll make like a mirror image of the Windows install that's on this one, and then use that as a backup, uh, so I can install this one on uh, Windows 7. So let's get at it. Oof, this thing is dusty. You know, it's just grimy in there. This is what happens when you leave your computers on the floor and you got dogs and stuff around. So I'm gonna hose this thing out with uh, some compressed air. So I got this out this to go in and this one's actually fanless so it should be super super quiet compared to these old honkers which are just loud and they suck a lot of power too this one's probably a uh, better performance and uh, way more way more quiet and this one doesn't even need a external power source like the 6800 so i've got an extra what is that a six pin yeah six pin connector that uh this is a modular power supply so i could just re or disconnect that if i wanted but i'm not gonna i'm just gonna leave it there because I can just stuff it around the back and hide it and nobody will see it again unless they need to. So if they were upgrading this card and they need a six pin power connector, well it's still there. Time to slap in the hard drive. Okay so how this works, um, if you're not installing the SSD into a, a laptop, is you basically use the adapter. This is for a three and a half inch and that just goes into there so I'll just pop the hard drive on here and uh, flip it over and it's got some screw holes to attach a drive. Attach a drive right there and that'll be easy. Then just slide it right in and then use the rest of the supplied screws to attach it to the chassis. So let's do that now. All right, so I'll just make sure I'm got enough length on these cables to attach the SATA uh, power and uh, of course the uh, data cable. So we look for the end that has the little notch in it. Just plug that in there. See how she clicks. And if you don't have these cables, because most of the time these aren't included with your uh, with your hard drive, so you can get them, you know, the Soros Radio Shack, any computer store really. You don't gotta be too picky about where you put an SSD just because, you know, vibration, that doesn't bother them. Heat doesn't bother them too much and pretty much just stab it wherever you want. So I'm just gonna put it right here and I'll still have uh, the old drive in there as a spare. All right, so we'll take the, the box outside, of course, and uh, found my, my spray doohickey and then spray front to back. You know, everybody knows how to do this. Oh, geez, that is disgusting. This is why you do it outdoors. Dusty. Yeah, that was pretty gross. Time to actually plug it in, see what happens. Let's get all this Jibri new jabs uh, plugged in. Just use VGA for now, probably good enough. And uh, make sure you get sound and everything plugged in. You're going to want to test that when you reinstall Windows. In this case, uh, mirroring in Windows. Important. Okay, now where's my power cable? That's a pretty important one. Alright, so I'm going to boot this thing up. 
And thanks plug in. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna boot this thing up. I can tell you right now, it's a lot quieter than it was before. That video card was freaking noisy and that uh, CPU was just making a hell of a lot of noise. And now with this drive, it's gonna freaking boot twice as fast and be even quieter because that drive doesn't make any noise. Okay, so it's booting the old drive. I have to change the boot selection here at the startup. That's uh, easy peasy. Now I just noticed up this computer is running Windows XP and uh, putting Windows 7 on it, so I can't use um, a Cronus or whatever it's called, the backup program, uh, Cronus True Image, to make a mirror image of what's on this drive, uh, unless I was going to use XP again, which is kind of stupid. But I'll go for Windows 7. I'll just change the boot over here on boot and uh, restart, and get into the install. Here we go. Here on this computer, the boot menu is just F12. Press that, and it should uh, detect. Okay, I don't know which one it's gonna be. It's on hard disk right now. Okay, there we go. There's the A-Data, that's, that's the uh, SSD. So I'll select that as the first one. Kaboom, and hopefully, Windows 7, the little thing uh, Jake. Oh, I gotta put the freaking CD-ROM first. Okay, ignore everything. I gotta, oh, never mind. In BIOS, it is turned on to run from uh, DVD or CD already so that saves me some work right there windows 7 is just loading its files right now and i'll just kind of skip this whole boring uh install because this could take you know an hour or more probably not that long with this ssd though that thing will be freaking quick from what i read it's a really good one and uh with 256 uh, gigs that's just plenty with a secondary drive of 320. so this will be a, a smoking little machine when i'm done and just for like a I think it cost about 240 bucks to uh, buy those parts. Oh, and the freaking updates. Yeah, those never stop. So make sure you update everything. You know, first things first. Get everything up to date on your fresh install. And then next thing, I'm going to be uh, having to export all the emails from Windows Live Mail. Uh, I'll maybe I'll, I'll link to this in the actual uh, description below. Windows Live Mail, yeah, so basically just telling you open up mail and then go down to file and then export mail, save that to a folder, and you should be able to just pretty much easily save this to a folder on even one of the other drives on the computer, and then once that's it there, you can just boot up Windows Live Mail in the uh, fresh install, and then you can, you know, go to import, which I think is in the uh, instructions here too, so I'll just, I'll add a link to that. And I want to talk a little bit about the uh, SSD too. This is um, this computer is actually running like a 320 gig uh, SATA 2 drive, uh, which is pretty damn slow unless you run them in RAID. Where this one, we're talking 555 megabytes per second read, 535 megabytes per second write. Uh, that's pretty quick. And then 510 and 320 for multimedia files. And uh, it came with, you know, pretty much everything you need and uh, even the little adapter that you can uh, use to just stick your hard drive where the hell you want. And then this video card that I got, this, uh, what was it, uh, GeForce GT610. It's nothing special, like this is no gaming card, but it's actually not too bad for the price. I think it was about 60 bucks, 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, you can overclock this thing, uh, it's low profile. It comes with the adapters to run it in low profile. Uh, it also has oh that heatsink on it yeah it's completely quiet and that also saves from dust coming in you don't have to worry about the fans sucking in dust too much but uh it, it's a good a good little card for the price like you know you can run older games on this no problem whatsoever i would say if you just wanted something like this sure why not and check out the output you can run uh dual monitors on this pretty freaking easy because it has DVI output, uh, HDMI, and VGA. I'm doubting it's going to let you run three monitors, not on a budget card, but yes, it will let you run two, no problem. And uh, with the memory, yeah, yeah. So back to this. I'll wait till this is all done, and then we'll start doing stuff. Older kind of BIOS is here. I'm actually going into uh, just hard disk priority, which is uh, where is that under? That's under advanced BIOS. Down to high just priority. Should be basically the same on most older motherboards. And just page up, page down. And uh, you want to put that A data, A data on the top. The ST, which is the old um, SATA 2 drive in the second one. So we'll just exit that. And then save and exit. Yep. 
and now we'll be booting uh, directly from the new SATA drive instead of the old drive. This is the first boot on Windows 7. Uh, granted, this computer does not have a lot of memory. It's only got, I think, either like three or four gigs, if not two. Uh, we can upgrade that. Okay, it's doing updates, so this is a totally unfair uh, check of how quickly it'll boot. So I'll do another uh, check of how fast it boots later on. But for now, you know, the, the drive I've noticed is copying files freaking insanely fast. So we'll see. Like, look at that. We're already up to 100% on updating the uh, install on Windows. So here we go. All right, another thing I'm probably going to do here is uh, just copy over all the old program files. Even, you know, they're not installed. This doesn't really matter. Um, probably can't just drop over the whole folders. I'm going to go in here and just select everything. And then copy that onto the new hard drive. program files and copy so we're going to copy these files and that will just make it easier when I'm reinstalling files I won't have to download the whole uh, program again if there's updates or whatever I'll copy and replace okay well okay so what's happening here is there's some new program files that are in there probably this is for media player so we don't want to uh, we don't want to copy this for media player we probably don't want to do this for anything is newer because it's going from XP to Windows 7. And I'll just make things easier. For the actual graphics card, go to uh, NVIDIA or ATI, wherever your card is made, and actually get the drivers straight from them. Don't do the, uh, the updated ones from Microsoft because they suck, they're old, these are new, and they're probably better. Of course, now I'm going to go to uh, ninite.com. Great site, great site. So you can just install pretty much everything you want, all freeware stuff, and uh, it's all good. I think my snowman is uh, pretty much deceased at this point. He lost his head. That's okay. We get it back on the uh, on the computer, and these updates are taking forever. Oh, it's finished. Awesome. Of course, if you're backing up email from Windows Live Mail, you can just go to the menu and it says like file menu and then import. Let's go to the place you backed it up. Just place it was temp and then email. So click OK. And then next. And away she goes. Okay, I am freaking done for now. I've been working on this thing for like eight freaking hours straight, so Ugh. <sighs> Okay guys, I guess last night I pretty much fell asleep in my chair working on this thing and uh, Windows Experience 4.6, nothing special, that's probably because of the RAM, uh, the RAM is not too much, but the hard drive is a 7.1, so that's pretty good, what's the video, uh, memory operation, desktop, oh 6.4 for the video card, so these are like pretty decent numbers for, you know, a cheap little computer, if you hear that, like my laptop's running right now, but this computer, almost totally silent. Like I think there's the CPU fan going, and that's about it. So it's it's quiet and it's fast. Works for me. Just uh, the rest of it I gotta do is just uh, go through, do like a quick virus scan and spy bot and that kind of stuff. Make sure there's nothing I didn't pick up while I was or pick up any viruses while I was installing all those programs. And then I'll go into the websites and make sure all the browsers work with uh, the, you know like Netflix will play video and YouTube will play video and. It has all the drivers and stuff it needs. For now, this is looking like it's about done. Pretty freaking close. Like, that was my first time using a uh, solid state drive. And holy shit, they are quick. Like, really quick. Oh, there goes my battery. So, good timing. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, cheers.